And we'll move on to, everybody should be happy, our final bend. I don't think anybody was ready for me to say there's three or four more bends. We're going to do our final bend. Okay, everything should look like this. What we're going to do is for our final bend is we're actually going to take the tube and we're going to bend it up in this direction. We have it tilted slightly, but what we want to do is we're going to tilt it in the direction. But the next thing we want to do is we may want to make another three inch mark. And what we want to do is take our ruler, again, line up like we've done the past two times, line up that edge with the center line of this third leg and mark three inches just like we've done before. Yeah, right here, we want to hold up, or hold up like here and, and line up the ruler with this leg right here, right at the very edge, split the center line and mark three inches. Okay, take the edge of the ruler here, line it up with this edge, and then mark it three inches. And of course, take the ferrule and mark all the way around it. And this is where it's going to be especially important that you take, and the little mark you create there, that you uh, because we're going to do an off-plane bend, 90 degrees off-plane, and that's where it's probably more critical that you, you do a careful job of taking that little three-inch mark and you translate that mark around the whole circumference of the tube. Okay, and once we do that, what we want to do... <clears throat>